Hello friends, in this video you will learn about how to control a ship register 74SC59 without a microcontroller. We are using 3 push button to control 8 LEDs. I will also explain how it works and pin out. This is a part 1 of ship register series. There is more to come so let's keep watching this video to the end and don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe for more videos. This video is sponsored by Bot Universe. They provide cheap and quality electronic products. So check out the link in the description after the end of the video. Visit botuniverse.in. To build this LED controller, we require chip resistor 74 st 595 for controlling the LED. 3 pull button to control the chip resistor. For 10k resistor, you reduce electronic noise from button. Third, 8 LED as an output. Fourth, 8 to 20 ohm register to protect the LED. 7 breadboard to make prototype circuit. 6 jumper wire for connections. Let's build the circuit. Take a breadboard for creating a prototype circuit. Next, make the power connection on the both sides of the breadboard. Now, attach the ship register on the breadboard. After that, connect the LED on the breadboard and make sure that. The cathode pin is connected to the ground. Don't forget to add a current limit resistor to the LED anode pin. Its value is 220 ohm resistor. First, connect the power connection for the resistor. For that, we have to connect pin 16 to 5 volt. Connect pin 8 to ground. Next, connect pin 13 to ground pin. Connect pin 11 to 5 volt. Attach a button on the breadboard. After that, connect the button pin 4 to 5 volt. Do the same process for other two buttons. After that, add a 10k resistor on button pin 1 to ground for avoiding the electronic noise. Also, do the same for other two buttons. Next, connect the button A pin 1 to pin 14. Next, connect button C pin 1 to pin 12. Connect button B pin 1 to pin 10 then leave the pin 9 it is used for turn on or off the output now connect the output pin to the LEDs there are 8 output pins so connect one by one Now, connect the 5V power supply to, to the breadboard. Now the circuit is completed. Check out the description for the circuit diagram. Let's check how it works. So, there is 3 buttons. First is a data button. Second is a clock button. Third is a latch button. First of all, there is no bit stored in the ship register. Therefore, all LEDs is off. When I hold data button, now we are receiving bits, but it's not stored yet in the ship register. So, we have to press the clock button, then signal goes high to low and the bits are stored in the ship register but not goes to the output yet. So we have to update the ship register. For that, we have to press the latch button. After that, the bit is pushed to the output and the first LED is turned on. Do same for all LEDs. Hold data button, then press clock button. After that, press latch button. Now. All the LED is on. To off it, we have to press clock button. After that, press light button. So one bit is shifted and press the clock pin five times. Then light button. Now all the LED is off. Now hold the data button. After that, press clock button three times and press light button. Now three LED is on. How many times you press clock button? The count of LED is on and off. First, hold the data button. Press clock button. Next. Release the data button and press clock. Do this to 3 times to see a magic. This is how the ship register works. In the next part, we will learn how to control the ship register by Arduino Uno. We are using only 3 Arduino digital pins to control as many LEDs as you want. All you need a ship register. So, do subscribe to learn more. Stay tuned. Bye.